Creating a portfolio site is the single biggest thing that people in web development or graphics design positions can do to boost their careers. While a resume gets you an interview, a portfolio site gets you the job. A portfolio that gets results brings your resume to life, demonstrating your skills and ties them to real projects. They also distinguish you from people that don't have sites, putting you at the top of the list of candidates to call. Take Sarah Rudder's site. A young visual designer, Sarah has a wide range of abilities combining visual design with coding skills and lots of relevant experience. Now take a look at Sarah's portfolio site. Above the fold or before you have to scroll down, Sarah packs a lot of information onto one page. This single page design makes a visual statement at first glance. Her name, links to her LinkedIn, Twitter, and email accounts, a friendly photo, a personal statement, a high level descriptive header about what she does, and a list of key skills. She pairs powerful messaging, as well as functionality, with just a few keywords, icons, and a single large image. Visitors easily know whether or not they want to scroll below the fold to find out more, a key trait of a good web developer. Sarah's site is just one page, but the entire design is about a dozen screens deep. She shows us what she's done, shows us she has worked in specialized areas, and also that she knows how to extend her sites to mobile. As you can cleverly see here, she shows us her software skills, collateral she's created, content design, and a bit more about herself. By providing so many examples, Sarah also helps those who want a designer with expertise in a certain kind of content. Her husband, Matt, is a software developer. On his portfolio site, he shows product logos and describes his contribution to each project. His is a multi-page layout and gives a description with each project. He divides his projects into three groups, showing which are finished, in progress, or researched, showing he's capable of a wide range of work. Because GitHub is the most popular online repository for code, Matt provides links to all his projects. He's also provided a link to his resume in PDF format. Matt's site is attractive and interesting, and not wordy, yet it's full of relevant technical terms for web development work. It shows employers the depth of his skill set. How we get work has changed, and potential employers are often researching your work online before you're even aware of it. So be prepared. Create a great online portfolio site that will help you stand out in front of other job seekers.